Welcome to ESPN's College Football Saturday, celebrating 20 years of college football on ESPN. Tonight, the number one ranked Oklahoma Sooners take on the Alabama Crimson Tide. A capacity house tonight, and they have been standing for a goodly part of the pregame. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with Mike Godfrey, and it is a special night because young Mike Shula has an opportunity to do something that even Baird never did, and that is face off against the number one team in this arena and he has a chance to come away with a win but that is a tall order particularly with Oklahoma's defense Mike Ron one of the best defenses I've ever seen on tape they have eight defensive linemen led by Tommy Harris the All-American two great linebackers Lehman and Mitchell the first five years and Mike Shula making his first appearance here at this stadium as a head coach he of course has made many appearances here as his starting quarterback and we only mention the weather because right now it's very nice and it looks as though it's going to be mild but down at the bottom the forecast pops the two deep men robinson on the near side hudson on the far side 17 and 27. When you talk about anticipation and noise for a couple of days in this city these folks have been revved and ready to see this one happen we are too here comes to carlo underway number one oklahoma and the crimson tide of alabama and robinson will not return this way oh, he throws it a little too hot mike ron he didn't get off to a very good start against south florida he said he was excited and he threw the ball too hard he cannot get off to that same start in this game well let's see if oklahoma does come after him early they don't have to blitz a lot because that front four is so effective from the 20 play action wants to throw on first down zips this one intercepted by oklahoma and picked off by antonio perkins antonio perkins is uh, bob stoop said the other day must might be the most talented secondary back they have and that includes Derek straight with a great interception on the first play. 34 yards for the left hash mark good pass plenty of distance and he's got it so the carlo starts off 2000 opening quarter clayton in motion Back to the short side of the field. Has five, has ten, it's Jones, and he's going to be shoved out of bounds around the 30-yard line, and that is enough for still another Oklahoma first down. Three last week. Good pass, and here's his kick. Plenty of distance, and he's good. <laughs> so two for two tonight, and he has been the extent of the scoring for the Sooners. By the way, with that timeout that Oklahoma had to the other co-defensive coordinator for the Sooners from the shotgun oh, the snap is too hard picked up by Oklahoma now it's back on the ground and I believe Alabama was able to recover it boy well if you're an Alabama fan you know last week the first half against South Florida was about the same he was not ready for that snap he didn't call for it and the ball came back they're very fortunate to recover this football so the Crimson Tide misses a huge opportunity. But because of the pressure, right at the middle of the run, has five, has ten, fifteen, and counted out the 20 yards, Sean Williams. Jonathan Jackson on the tackle of LC, officially his knee touch after gaining 18. Longest game from scrimmage tonight. Season. ESPN's College Football Saturday. Brought to you by Killian's Irish Red. Irish in spirit. A step up in taste. This calls for a Killian's. And by 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. It's free for them and cheap for you. So we are back. Nine minutes and ten seconds left until halftime. Crowd came to their feet with the offense uh, broke from the sideline huddle. And they scrimmage from the 41 of Oklahoma. Clinton Johnston in motion, number 88. And again, a little counterplay right at the middle, but boy, how many times have we already called Lance Mitchell's name? A four-yard attempt coming up. Ryan Bostic. The ball almost squarely in the middle of the field. Alabama trying to get on the board with just under five minutes to play until halftime. He's got the distance, and he's good. 
17, now four minutes and 16 seconds. And in this quarter, instead of good field position, Oklahoma has had poor field position. They throw the middle screen, big opening here, 30, 35, 40, Mark Bradley. And Bradley finally pushed out of bounds by Roman Harper. And a long gainer on the part of the Sooners, and they flip the field as it's good for 35 yards. Quick screen out to the left. Mark Bradley's going to get this in your right run. He got some great blocks. He got a good block by Mark Clayton, the wide receiver, and flips the field in uh, coverage. Roman Harper makes the play. I just think about Oklahoma. They have only had 105 yards rushing last week. Haven't been able to run the ball that well this, this game. You see the numbers on white. Going to go up the sideline. Fade route. Got a man wide open at the 10 yard line, and he will score. Mark Clayton. Charles Jones got roasted. 46 yards on the play. You weren't set. But Clayton looked like he was all alone. So as they head to the locker room, Oklahoma with a very big three-play drive to score a touchdown in the second quarter. Side by side, and it, it, they formed the number 10. Adrian was the one. So 13.59 left to play, third quarter. Special teams, again, defense and special teams may be Alabama's best shot to score. Do you return, Mike, or do you... Do I you think I go after it. No, Ferguson standing. Make something to happen. Back at the six-yard line. And he got it. It went forward, bounding at the 44-yard line. Boyle. Deep drop, far sideline, drills the pass, touchdown to Yanda Sloop. The punt this evening. Here they come right up the middle. And they're going to throw a pass, and it's complete at the 30-yard line. 40, 45 to the 50. Michael Thompson. And how about that gamble by Coach Stoops? 24 no, when you, yards. When you have a defense like he's got, that's still the gamble. Because he knew Alabama was going to come after this punt. Now everybody has a man. You still have somebody on the man-for-man -man coverage. But a great call by Bobby Stoops. Set up perfect. Blake Ferguson with the pass. Michael Thompson with the catch. And you could see Ferguson, he wasn't worried about aesthetics. He just wanted to make sure he got it to the proper spot, which he did. Kevon Jones, number 20, ports in at tailback. It's Ronalds in motion. Oklahoma going to go for it all, heading for the end zone. And it is caught at the five and touchdown, Brandon Jones. 47 yards in the pass play. You made the point last week. Great teams come back with a retort. Play, Mike. Well, they pull those defensive ends, force him up into the pocket, and he's going to run for the first down and take it down to the 13 yard. Boots at home. 132 left in the ball game, and it's now a seven point ball game. Here comes the onside kick, and it bounds and recovered by Oklahoma. And that's uh, Travis Wilson. So the Oklahoma Sooners are now 2 and 0 oh on this young season. Mike Shula goes to 1 and 1, loses his first game here at Bryant Denny Stadium. So the final score, Oklahoma 20, Alabama 13. Coming up next at SportsCenter and ESPN News Post Game Extra. For more, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the Internet. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Right now, we say so long from Tuscaloosa, Alabama.